Hello everyone, this is Alberto Chavez and we will... I'm guessing here that we will finish today with um, our Optimus Prime Power Master and um, today we will do basically two things, uh, short things I hope. Uh, first we will model the Autobots logo and second we will give it just a little bit of texture here just to avoid keep it you know that that shiny I the previous version I made the um, generation one Optimus Prime um, that I made in Spanish by the way I did it um, very very damaged you know like after a big big battle and uh, because I don't like it that shiny just because of that and that's it you know can't help it um, I see here we have a little bridge or I don't know whatever reason it is there is, as you can see here, uh, a little gap between this two, so I would like to... No, but not a phase though. I don't know. It's, it's just that I don't want it as a phase. Um, let's see if... Uh, if I collapse them... No, it will be just a single. All right. Yeah, maybe I will create just the face and push it on the y-axis just to make it a little bit different. Okay. I don't know. It's it's just a weird thing of me. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, we will go to a different layer, layer number three, as you can see here. And uh, let me get rid of the side panel and let me call the other side panel with the N key, which reminds me that as always I have not called the, uh, the keyboard and mouse monitor. So you need to search for background images. Let's say we go to top view with the number 7 on the number pad. So click on background images, add image. Now you, here where it says axis, you need to select top. So you can see it only at the top view. And I will go ahead and open. Uh, it is here. And here's a logo. It's pretty basic pretty simple I will just um, draw the red part since it's all what uh, what is needed uh, remember at least most of the Optimus Prime um, images have the logo on the you know placed in the, in the surface of the arm in the red part by the way so how do we model this Optimus Prime that's fairly easy just shift a so I will add, add a plane then modifier because I will mirror this just like this control R whoa just a low me a minute sorry let me guess get this here tab to go to edit mode now, control R and place the edge loop right in the middle. A to deselect, B to box select, X to delete the vertices, and there we go. Actually, it's um, better if we do what I'm going to do right now. I will box select, X to delete those vertices, and I will select that, X, and delete that vertice what are we going to do it's pretty simple just start modeling 
this baby let's say from the corner let's say that corner right there and now we will just E to extrude like that basically there now E to extrude it again E remember you have it on the top view which means that if you extrude exactly in the top view you won't have the problem that it goes somewhere on the set axis if you just extrude from the top view that will avoid the set axis to take turns and screw your things up E to extrude again E and there you have it now we will join these two together so Alt M at last and there we have a face why we don't see that um, right there that's pretty easy that's because we haven't closed the face if we click on F uh, oh sorry <laughs> I need to select the whole thing and click on F we don't need to get worried about this to be an end gone remember uh, an end gone is just a collection of many vertices joined but by a single face that doesn't matter in this case since it's just a very small part of the whole thing so I will go ahead and duplicate this node here this vertice the shift D and just like that maybe yeah there E to extrude you need to be careful here since it's uh, a curve and I really don't see the need to give this uh, subdivision surface so you know just try to uh, shape the curve by the extrusions that's it so select the whole thing oh wait a minute this whole thing just like that and now F and you have right there click on clipping and you join the whole thing together just like that the holes we will do the holes later on with the knife um, tool so again shift D to duplicate that vertice and bring it right there. E to extrude. Wait, what happened? Mm, what's wrong here? It's. Oh, I see. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me. Oh, my God. Oh, let's do. Shift D here is in that way that won't clip since uh, clipping it's um, enabled <laughs> when I duplicate this one it's already clipped with the other one in the other side so it's um, making me just extruded on the either the Y or the X axis and not you know like, like a free um, extrusion right L L there you go F and now just join it together just like that now hey what happened need you to join why you don't why you're not joining hmm okay leave it there now shift D and start the other part E to extrude so you can see this is uh, very repetitive but it's always fun 
as you can see here uh, it's very interesting just following the whole thing I will need to do here another extrusion because it's everything apart of the same thing at the same phase now I will join all M at last now L face join it together just like that duplicate that vertice there shift D and E to extrude E to extrude E to extrude again now to the bottom part So hey, by the way, um, this is basically the last video for the series and um, I have had a couple of views, more than a couple actually, so I'm assuming those views among of course the Spanish speakers that are willing to, to, <laughs> to listen to me trying to speak in English um, if you are an English speaker and you are not annoyed by the accent and you would like to see some kind of uh, tutorial going on as my next English tutorial just uh, shoot me a comment right on uh, maybe you know the blog or maybe YouTube channel you decide where where to tell me uh, if you're following following me on Facebook or Twitter uh, you know let me know let me know I, I would love to know what would you like to see next um, on my English tutorials so please let me know what would you like to see um, again as an English tutorial because for Spanish by the way um, I basically I have just finished my um, maybe I'm missing one or two more videos for how to create a basic game in Blender so I already have another uh, tutorial on mind which is by the way how to model and textured a camera I you know photographic camera so whatever you like for an English tutorial just let me know K for the uh, knife tool and just click 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 just follow the shape of this hole at the end is it's a hole enter select this whole thing and now we can go ahead and since it's a face you can go ahead uh, go ahead and click here on face select and, and then X faces and there you have it there's our hole um, now this part here is exactly the same thing key for the knife tool now there just follow the shape it's fairly easy and um, as you can see there are a couple weird things going on here but uh, the face is just created right there so again key and click 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 enter now there's a face here which you would like to delete X faces oh wait mm. okay Houston we have a little problem because as you can see here mm, just let me see something oh no it's not a problem at all the face has have been has been created sorry seven so we go to top view the eye is already there 
So we have our logo. <sighs> okay. Stop. <laughs> now all what we need to do is apply this mirror modifier. So we need to go out of the edit mode with tab and now apply. Of course we need to give it a uh, material. So we go into materials and we already have it metal red right it's already there so now uh, press the M key so you move it to another layer which is the first layer of course where we have the big prime and now you can get rid of your image and there you have it my dear friends now we need to rotate this our X because we will rotate it in the X axis 90 degrees so RX 90 and there we go Let me come here just like this let me scale it on every single axis now that I think about it this could not be red <laughs> because otherwise um, you won't be able to see it so actually let's create a new material here for this logo that will be a glossy material here let me give it some kind of golden uh, appearance so you know it's like um, a little bit more like the one the big prime used to we used to see at least in generation one I I'm not sure about the color for power master I don't know if it's the same or not but we can pretend it is the same so now our X because you can click on shift so you do it bit by bit Maybe there now on the Y axis you just do that my friend and just duplicate it and make it here maybe it's just a little too much right oh scale it there you know what I'm thinking about yeah I knew it um we're missing something so move it to the third layer what a shame huh big big shame just I move it here just because I think wait a minute um, because I really believe it's easier to work here not because I need the whole thing but since it's already there it's like come on why not maybe it's too much and yeah there um, we don't need to go to edit mode we just need to add a plane because that's you know fairly easy vertice selection as X just like that and now oh my goodness all right no problem let's R X uh, Y or X just right there. Yeah, I think it's fairly placed. So it's just like that and I will copy the materials first I will select this mesh that has no material 
then the one that already has the material control L and select materials and hey wait a minute why the red one though oh because it's the first one so sorry never mind uh, go to edit and assign now we're cooking select the other one control J and now it's a single mesh don't forget that my friends uh, you know I think this one should be go a little bit down just like that now control J M1 and now we have here this little baby here or X maybe there scale it maybe there and um, let's see I think just a little well or oh, our X just a tiny little bit just like that and now um, something we could do it's just extrude the whole thing E as you can see and now just push it just a little bit uh, to leave it right there shift duplicate shift D to duplicate the whole thing and now I just need to rotate it again on the x-axis just KRX take it out just a little bit and there you have it there it is I say it's done I'm not sure if something's missing so if you are one of the ones <laughs> that know how to how the whole robot it's done let me know if I'm missing something and um, just one more thing one more little thing this is the whole robot here and this is the place where we are going to apply a uh, texture so we could come here and uh, select new texture but there's a little thing here um, if I apply here from here uh, it will not affect the let's say the places I want to affect okay because m most likely this will affect the colors and I want actually the the shape I want a cloud um, the texture applied here but I don't want it to be applied just to the colors so what we can do is come to here to modifier add modifier and select displays alright now we as you can see now we can see a little uh, that Optimus have been eaten eating too much right <laughs> he really forget forgot about the diet so what we need to do is to tell blender that this mesh will be affected by a texture all right immediately you can see that um, it, it is affected already right with the texture that was created as you can see here when I added the displays here on the texture panel the type the of um, the texture is a display texture and it has clouds if I select any other texture let's say I select wood look what is going to happen okay if I select for instance noise 
it's fairly different right so now what we need to do is first the clouds okay first clouds that's the very first thing but then return to the modifiers panel and you see here it says strength so how big will be that uh, this texture affecting our mesh it has a strength of one which is a lot so let's decrease a tiny bit maybe a little bit less yeah point four might do the magic as you can see our logo has been covered now that um, the mesh is not completely uh, angular right so as you can see th that is exactly what I wanted okay besides we could we could along with the whole thing um, it give it a, a, a different shades of gray and I'm not talking about the book I'm talking about um, when I if I would decide to affect for instance uh, metal red and I come here and I say that it is um, a noise texture that will affect the color it will always be the same color but with like tiny little dots that will be affecting the mesh but that, that is not what I want okay this is Optimus Prime let's say after having a lots of battles I, I'm seeing here that is maybe too much maybe a point three actually a point two will do the magic because in that way you know after receiving a couple punches from Megatron or from Soundwave which is by the way my favorite out of uh, well actual Transformers Soundwave it's, it's a Decepticon but um, as I said Soundwave it's my favorite of all time my favorite Transformer ever not just Decepticon but Transformers in general Soundwave it's the law for me <laughs> so there you have it my friends um, Optimus Prime it's finished and has a little texture affecting the shape of the whole mesh and we can pretend that it is because Optimus it's been fighting with uh, I don't know let's say Megatron and he received a couple of good punches from the other robot by the way if you are asking how I uh, made the lighting uh, effect for the rendering I posted on my last video I have it right here in the second layer so I will select both layers so you can see them at the same time okay with the shift you select both layers this ones here at the top are not necessary at all I just duplicate the whole thing and I was lazy enough to delete them so there you have it uh, so always if you want the dot blend file you can pick it from my blog diseño libre that would be a Guatemala 2 2 with numbers dot blogspot.com as always, thank you very much for following me on YouTube, on my blog, on Twitter, which is at a Guatemala. And um, well, see you next time. If you want a specific uh, English tutorial, just let me know. Um, I will keep posting um, Spanish tutorials, but if I don't receive any requests, this is the last English tutorial that I will post however and if we see and hear each other next week may open and free software have a long 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 life